Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. Today's gonna be a really special day, not only because I have my beautiful sister-in-law Jessica with us to create this glamorous look on, but also because I'm trying something uh, that I have been wanting to do since the beginning of starting my channel, which is recording the commentary on camera with our model. I thought it was a fun way to switch things up and I don't know, you'll have to let me know how you like it. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I created this look right here then keep on watching all right let's do this i'm starting out with the elements pro collagen green fig cleansing balm this is their newest one actually and this is the first time i used it um, you all usually see me use the original one which is my personal favorite up until i had tried this because it smells so good it smells great it's it's like literally a spa yes. and um, I love using this like to prep the model skin with because it just removes any makeup or dirt or pollution that has accumulated. So I really work it into the skin as you see here. And then you'll see me apply some water. You can grab, um, what is this called? Like the Evian spray? Water spray, yeah, Evian, yeah. yep. And it's convenient to use like as a makeup artist when, when, you're, on, when you're on the go. Um, you just spray it into your hands and add it on. But if you're at home, like when I wash my face with this every night, I just use water from the sink. Um, and you'll see it emulsifies into like a, more like a cleansing milk. So it starts as an oil, breaks down into a milk, and then um, you'll see me wipe it off and it leaves the skin really hydrated. What do you think? I mean, because this is, I think, maybe the first or second time I've used it on you. I love it because we, <laughs> I just took a shower. My skin was perfectly clean. You put it on my face and it removed dirt. Like more that you would never, oil, yeah, yeah, yeah. makeup, and I was horrified. It's, and it's really like just soothing. Like it's, it's a very nice, yes. And it left the skin like, like so ready for yeah. And moisturized, it ain't very much, no, it was great. Um, so here I'm using the Tatcha water cream. Looking back, I wish I had used something a little bit more hydrating. Um, Tatcha has their like normal cream, um, their dewy skin cream, I think it's called. Cause you have a slightly drier skin type, mm -hmm. um, much like myself. So this is um, something I would wish I would have used with something a bit more hydrating, but this works. Um, now, the IT Cosmetics CC Favorite Cream. Foundation. You know, you turned me on to this. I did. Um, I had never used this until one time uh, I was in town visiting you and I was doing your makeup, I was going through your bag and you used this. It is a thicker formula. I want you to know if you haven't tried this yet, it's full coverage, but it totally. is a thicker formula um, and it's hydrating. So that's why I think it works for your skin I type. I love it. Not drying, not yeah. creasy, lasts all day, doesn't yeah. rub off like on clothes or hands or yeah yeah like i wouldn't wear this without powder um because just it, like on my skin type and most of my clients it would just break apart yeah um, but it can handle the powder that's the thing because it is hydrating it soaks up the powder setting powder powder foundation whichever you use to you know set your makeup without looking cakey um, and it's coverage but as i said in the beginning it's thicker so it really helps smooth out the pores mm -hmm. um, you just can't mind it feeling a little heavy. It, it, it will, it depends on how much you use, but um, that goes for anything. Uh, the Catrice True Skin Concealer. This was kind of a whim because the other day when I was doing Jess's makeup, yeah. I was like, okay, we need something quick to bronze up the skin. And this goes to show, like you really don't- You can use anything. You really yeah. can. Yeah, and it, it, this is cheap and cheerful. You can get it from the drugstore. I get them from Ulta. They have a great foundation too called the True Skin Foundation, but this is a really good color for you. You have great thank, skin. Thank you. Your skin is like glowing. Thank you. Another thing about your skin, like it can handle, it can handle product. Like, and you don't need much powder either, but your skin just looks like glass, glowy, mm -hmm. dewy, no matter how much product you use on it, which must be nice. Must be. <laughs> some of us would feel like crazy with this much product, but you can really handle it and you own it too. You look fabulous. Thank you. I like this because also too, you don't need a lot of it. It's so like pigmented. I, I can't quite think of the name right now, guys, but I'll be sure to include it down below uh, with all the shades I've used of everything, complexion and stuff. Um, but this is a really good color for it you. so good. You just need like a little bit and you press it on. It doesn't have to be perfect, yeah. but if you just take a sponge and just press it in afterwards, go over everything. It's nice using a sponge because it helps pick up any excess product, mm -hmm. foundation, um, moisture, or whatever it may be. And it just looks like butter. It looks great. It looks so good. Um, yeah, I can't think, it must be like eight, nine, 10 bucks. It's a good product. It's a good brand too. I, I like them a lot. Um, 
Patrick uh, Todd. Patrick. <laughs> I love She's this She's giving. She's giving everything. <laughs> this is uh, their blush powder cream blush duo in the shade she's giving uh, and it's a bright vibrant pink with a blue undertone these blushes are it, it it's the moment i love his stuff uh, you'll, you'll see me so later good. on use the um the powder side but right now i'm using the cream just pressing it on as i had done with the uh the liquid bronzer concealer we used previously just a little bit goes a long way it looks so just pretty the color mm -hmm. is stunning beautiful beautiful yes. all right house labs concealer this is the first time i've used this on you this is a newer product um, their triclone skin tech concealer again i'll put the shades down below uh, that i'm using i can't quite think of it but i will say like i've used this for a little while and i had the like a, the privilege of them sending me the product mm -hmm. months ago months ago they sent me all the shades before like anyone knew and i was just like oh my gosh i was playing around with the formulas trying it on different skin types and i'll tell you like immediately my evaluation of it was that it took me by surprise first using it because it is a tackier concealer which can scare some people mm -hmm. but in fact it works magic if you you know set it properly and use the right amount and have a, a, a hydrated base to work with underneath i mean look at the difference fantastic yeah fantastic i wish i had used like a, a slightly more like pink undertone but they have a ton of shades um and i will set it with powder you'll you'll see here um, but again heading back to that sponge mm -hmm. and another thing about using a sponge guys is that i'm using the same one i had used for the contour and the the bronzer so it takes anything that's left in the sponge and kind of transforms transfers it to make it a bit more cohesive. Just that that helps complexion. blend the face. Exactly. Yeah, it just makes everything one, right? You don't have like to have that. 10 different sponges or make it complicated. Just get right in there and just use the same thing. So one size setting powder, the translucent one. This is what I like to use on you because it does have, even though it's translucent, it does have mm -hmm. a slight yellow undertone. Um, and I like to use this to set the under eye with, with a powder puff. Uh, you don't have to, a lot of brands have these powder puffs. Uh, and they kind of sell them for a crazy price, like mm -hmm. 20 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever. This must cost a dollar or two. I get it from uh, Namie's or uh, Camera Ready Cosmetics. Re it's like my best friend. I've used mm -hmm. this for years and I just press it in the powder to set the concealer. And then I use that same powder to go around the rest of the face to set the foundation into place. Because as I said earlier, like mm -hmm. if you don't do that, it can be a slippery slope. Um, and it, it doesn't require a lot. You know, just a little bit here and there to keep the product into place and to bring down that shine. Your skin looks It looks so amazing. good. Looks the amazing. color matches perfect. Like the, the soft bronze and the contour. So nice, so natural. So I, I'm not going to bake underneath her eyes, uh, but I do like to bake along the jawline. You like a, like a structure. I love a nice structure, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and once we wipe this off later, you'll it'll just leave a, behind a subtle brightness that looks really, really beautiful. Um, the reason I don't like baking underneath Jess's eyes is because, you know, even though she doesn't have any fine lines, if I bake underneath her eyes, I find it just, it, it does look a little crazy. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not for everybody and that and that's okay. Now starting on the brows, I'm using the Brow Wiz, Anastasia Beverly Hills, soft brown. This is the way you use. So I'm like, let's keep it easy. I like keeping most of the product on the outer half of the brow because the front of your brow is quite dense already. So it doesn't mm -hmm. mean much, you know? It's the tail that needs um, some help. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way. I feel like that's most people. I think so too. You know? It's this perfect color, easy to apply. It's the perfect color. It's great. It's not too warm. It's, it's not, not too cool. It's great. And I also use, I, I think this is the shade Taupe from their duo, the powder mm -hmm. duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And I use that just to give it a hint of more density. Um, just a little bit. You don't need much. Sticking to Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm using their new Fall Romance palette. I'm starting with this, like that taupey shade. It's matte. There's no shimmer, although there are a lot of shimmers mm -hmm. in that palette. This is um, a good backdrop for the, the shadows we're putting on top of this. And it doesn't require a lot of work, you know? Do you find that when I do your eye makeup? Like, I spend like two minutes on it. Two minutes. Yeah. I'll spend forever on the complexion because I love doing complexion. Yes. But eyeshadow, I'm very quick, simple. I like to be practical, mm -hmm. you know. Going into this deep plum shade here in the same palette, I'm using this to line her lash line and kind of wing out the eye. I'm not using a pen or an, an eyeliner pencil or anything, keeping it really easy. I I wanted to you know, switch it up. I think there's a way to play with color. And we usually do bronze and smoky colors, yeah. but I think this is a fun way to incorporate a little vibrancy without looking. Makes the eye pop. Yeah, especially your eyes because you have like these beautiful blue eyes and it just makes it even more striking totally. and complements it. And it, it, again, it's very, very soft. 
Now taking the shimmer uh, shadow from the uh, palette, I just dust that over. No precision, you don't have to be perfect. Just let the brush do the work for you. And it just adds a little glitz and glam. Love don't you think? glitz and glam. It's so pretty. I mean. It really is perfect for the fall. Um, and I like to just head back to a, a more precise brush and just go over that mm -hmm. lash line a little bit more. It, it's really pretty. And the thing is too, you'll notice that with her eye shape, I like to have her look straight ahead, and I would recommend this to you too if you're doing your eye makeup. Look straight ahead into a mirror, figure out kind of the shape you want to create, and work with that. You know, you might have to add a little bit here, mm -hmm. add a little bit there, take away a little bit there, but it's much more difficult to take away than it is to add. So take your time with this and, you know, just be patient with it. This was a fun look to create. It turned out amazing. Yeah. I just wanted to go forward and and see what happened. I, it, I don't add much uh, product just underneath the eyes, yeah. just a little bit, like a hint. I'm using the same shadow as I used on the upper lid and it just adds a little bit of drama. And once we add on some mascara, it's like the perfect finishing touch. I feel like anything too heavy takes away from the complexion when I do your makeup. Really? This is glam, it's but it, it, it's not like in your face. Oh god, you also <laughs> turned me on to this. Guys, so these, in, um, the Kiss Falscara individual lashes, um, I had first tried these out on you, must have yeah. been like a year or so ago, so quick and easy. It's a hit or miss. Today, <laughs> I did struggle with this a little bit. I, I They're struggle. so easy though, it's not but, like the lash yeah. glue, like you just pop them right underneath. Yeah, they Even look so good. It. I just add a little mascara. This is the Big Monsieur mascara from Lancome. Yeah. Usually they are very easy, I promise. I think when I you just gotta get used to it. Yeah, when you get in front of the camera, it's like <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking, you know. You want to be perfect, but when we're just chilling, doing glam, it, it takes nothing but two yeah, minutes. Just, yeah. A little mascara on the bottom ain't never hurt nobody. You got some long lashes. bottom lashes. You're very very lucky. I feel like this would be a little heavy for daytime, don't you think? I don't think so. I think no? it works. No? Nope. Day and night? <laughs> oh. All right. Well, there you have it. I, I would probably do it more towards the evening. Yes, but like, no, I agree. If you want to do it during the day, you do you. I'm just wiping off this uh, baking powder. As you see, it's very, very subtle. And I'm going in with the Patrick Ta Blush Duo. Mm -hmm. Again, easy. One product, bada bing, bada boom. Start with the cream in the beginning of your application and finish off with the powder and it just enhances it. It's the same color, right? It's the same yeah. exact color, just in a different formula yeah. powder. Just locks it in. He likes to use the cream actually on top of powder and... Maybe we should try that. Let's do it. Let's try that what next. are you doing later today? Right? <laughs> it is just so beautiful. It really is. And the I color. like bringing this underneath the eyes. Like I... <laughs> Like a year ago, I did this TikTok and it went viral saying, bring your blush up to the under eyes. But it, yeah, people went crazy. <laughs> but, but that's what I mean by it, just to give it a hint. It doesn't have to be wild. All right, so highlighter, we're using this Pat McGrath highlighter. Um, yeah. It's funny because it it reads much cooler on camera, but it's quite warm, like in person. So you love a highlight though. So I go Ugh. heavy handed with it and it looks really, really pretty, especially in this lighting when it's like bright, yes. bright lighting where you see everything. It's like beaming. You love a highlight. I, I, I went through a phase where I loved to be like blinding highlight. <laughs> and then I kind of fell out of that phase. But now you've got me back into it. It's just, there's nothing like glowy the skin. Little, yeah, glowy. All right, Charlotte Tilbury. Let's got another it. product. You, do, you all I don't understand how much influence Jess has in my career. <laughs> I love that. It's like this pencil I would never have discovered unless I had been for Iconic you. Iconic Nude is the shade. It, it is the perfect one, it's day perfect. or night. You yeah. can play it up with any lipstick and it always looks good. It never disappoints. Now to complement this, I'm using the MAC Lip Glass. This is in the shade Delight. Mm -hmm. I didn't use any lipstick with this liner. All, all you, you need didn't. is some You're gloss. Right. Just some gloss. And it's easy because you don't have to bring you know the lip liner with you throughout the day. You can just bring your gloss and touch mm -hmm. it up. It's low maintenance. And I like to go a little wild with gloss. You know, I love a glossy lip. Love gloss. I'm wearing it today. <laughs> so yeah, you are I wearing am. it today. Yep. Yep. Without lip liner, but Without, you can see yeah, exactly. like, how it translates differently. Like and you glam can play it up. to more natural. I need to start doing more of these like style commentary yeah. videos. And if you like this style versus doing voiceover, let me know. Because it's kind of fun hearing your perspective. You tell the truth of the Oh yeah, you, the you keep it real. Yeah. All right, set this into place. We're using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to really lock the makeup in. And that, ladies there and gentlemen, we have it. is how we took our naturally beautiful model and created this look. <laughs> I 
I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at PaintedBySpencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.